Oh, oh, I love you. What up, y'all? Intravenous here, back with another episode of POL Game Review and Music. And today we're taking a look at the Power Mod, a modification for the PSP Go. That's right, this modification makes your PSP Go heavier, fatter, and it gives it way more battery life. So you get to pull out this small battery that comes with the PSP Go and replace it with a much larger battery. A much larger battery. For, it was originally designed for the PS Vita and it fits smack in here with a little bracket and this nice custom back panel. I found this upgrade on AliExpress and I haven't really seen anybody talk about it so I wanted to order it myself, try it out, and then make this video on it. Just a heads up, it is called the Power Mod and you should be able to find it on AliExpress. There is an older version that was 3D printed. This is the newer one where it comes with different cool uh, custom backs. They have different designs. Uh, they have black and they have white designs. In case you have the piano black model. And it comes with the bracket and the back piece. I want to say it's around $30 ships from China. But you have to order the PS Vita battery yourself to go with it. Uh, they can't really, if you're ordering from America, there's laws about sending the batteries overseas and stuff, but it's not hard to get a PS Vita battery. In fact, I think I got mine on Amazon. And then inside here we also have a M2 adapter, which is a ribbon cable that goes into the M2 memory card slot. As many people remember, these little memory cards were expensive, hard to come by, and they didn't get that large. The PSP Go has a built-in 16 gigabyte memory internal, but what I've done is I've added an extra 128 gigs here via this new adapter. The adapter is basically a ribbon cable that has been very strategically soldered onto the micro SD card adapter that many are using in their PSP Go's, or rather in their PSP original models to date, the 1000, 2000, 3000. It's a memory stick duo adapter with a 128 gig micro SD card inside of it and a ribbon cable soldered to the points and then it is literally injected into the memory card slot and folded over in place. So in here instead of seeing a memory card you see this this ribbon cable. I'll show you some close-ups of the inside back so you can see what it's like but this is just a huge lifesaver for the PSP Go. I love the PSP Go and two of my biggest gripes were the fact that it, it was hard to upgrade the memory. 16 gigs isn't really a lot of space to fit in there. With this new upgrade, I have around 100 games. The 16 gigs, I would have like 8 to 12 games on there depending on the games. Not a whole lot to put on there. Now we got 100 games on there, you can change them up. And in addition to that, we have a much longer battery life. Now this mod says that it makes the PSP Go have twice the battery life, but at least for mine it seems to be much more. I can tell you that I installed this a couple days ago and I've played on it here or there, not like for hours at a time, but it's been on sleep mode, awake, and it still has the entirely full battery logo at the top. It runs great. One thing that you should know with any PSP, if you if you want to hack it and install a larger memory, you do have to hack it to get the larger memory. You don't have to hack it to do the battery. Alright, so I'm going to show you when I click the X button how long it takes for that to load. I do still have 25 gigs left of memory too, so keep that in mind. See, it takes a second. A few seconds. Several seconds. And there you have it. And here we have our list. And you can just keep on going and going and going. There is a mod, I think, a custom firmware or something where you can add cate categories or, or folders to this so you can organize these games a little more. I don't have that on here, but I don't mind too much. Uh, I know what I want to play and where it's at, sort of, so maybe in the future. We're going to go ahead and take closer looks here, and I'll show you how to do this mod. Uh, I don't actually show you the bracket getting put in, because I've already done it, but the only parts that are left to do is you remove the, the battery for the PSP Go. You unplug this little plug here, and you're going to toss that aside, then the bracket fits into place, the wider part of the bracket goes where the battery was in the PSP Go. I put a little 
thing of double-sided sticky tape in there to kind of hold it into place. It's up to you if you want to do that. And then there's a bracket on the other side of that little piece is a spot to, to just clip in the battery. And then you plug in the PS Vita battery where the old battery was. It's the exact same shape and size plug. And then go ahead and close her up. This is an amazing mod. There's only four screws on the back and two screws on the top to remove. And then one little gray plastic panel that holds the volume buttons, the screen brightness, and the audio controls. You want to pop that off in order to access everything you need on the back panel. So there's four screws, one, two, three, four on the back. Get that top one off. Inside you'll see it's mostly taken up with the new PS Vita battery. This is a two, I believe this is a PS Vita 1000 battery. And next to it you can see that there is a ribbon cable connecting. So what I've done is I have the ribbon cable running underneath the battery mod. And I have that taped in place and the battery mod laying on top of that. Because if you don't do the battery mod, uh, you do need to do some slight modifications to the back panel of your original PSP Go in order for it to fit properly. Otherwise, it's going to bulge out quite a bit and you could damage some things inside. So on the inside of the PSP Go back panel, there were four little pegs and a square risen notched out square shape those need to be clipped off and or sanded down and smoothed out and once you do that you can clip the back of the PSP Go on flawlessly and you can use the memory mod without the battery mod now remember the PSP Go's battery is old and yours might be needing a replacement anyway so I would highly recommend getting this new mod as it makes it more comfortable to hold it's thicker it's heavier it's just the right size my only gripe now or maybe an idea for the future is I think they should put flared buttons. Somebody needs to make flared shoulder buttons on the the just to replace these shoulder buttons so the flared buttons can reach out along the back of this battery mod. I think that would make it perfectly comfortable and really, you know, tie everything into place and that would that would be it. I'd be playing this a lot more than I ever used to with the PSP Go. This has brought the life back to it. it. It lasts longer. I have all the games I need. I can play it without the battery dying. Before I did the battery mod, I was playing on a full battery and after I want to say maybe an hour or less, it was down to what looked like two-thirds of a battery as far as the battery symbol was concerned on the top of the game. So there you have it folks. The PSP Go and it's new life in 2023 it, it it has a lot still going for it the screen is crisp all of the games look a little bit better because it's a little bit smaller of a screen than you would find on the PSP you have many things here that were ahead of their time like Bluetooth capabilities this is something that you know it's it may have a place in your home especially now with these new mods so if you find any interest at all let me know down in the comments or if you have any questions about how I did this or how I find these products I'll try to leave some links in the description again the power mod is the way to go y'all I hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next episode peace out